Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be opening up my Ipsy Glam bag for the month of July. And if you don't know, Ipsy is a $12 a month beauty subscription. You get to choose one item and then they kind of like customize and build your bag around the item that you choose. So if you are curious to see what I got in this month's Ipsy Glam bag, then just stay tuned. But before we get into the unbagging, if you'll just give this video a big thumbs up and then also hit that subscribe button, that way you can join me every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's open up Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of July. All right guys, so just really quick before we get into the unbagging, I actually, um, my last month's bag, just the last couple of months, I haven't really been thrilled. I feel like I'm just getting a lot of skincare and like little tiny baby tubes. So I actually went into my beauty profile and I changed my age. I'm actually 38, <laughs> I had to think about that. I'll be 38 this October. But I actually changed my age to 22. I was just like, you know, I'm just not getting the same kind of items that I used to get and I really want something a little bit more heavy in makeup, so I changed my age. So we will see if that reflects anything inside the bag. So I did get a few add-ons this month and I'll kind of briefly go over that. So first up, let's look at the bag. And I've heard like mixed reviews on this bag, but you tell me what you think. It's like a pink plastic kind of see-through bag and it says escape on the front. The cute part about it is this little baby airplane. I think that that is really adorable, but I'm definitely getting like 80s vibes from this. I don't know, it's pretty awesome. Mine has like some weird printing there. I don't know what that is, but anyway. So this month's theme is take a break which we could all definitely take a break right now with everything going on. And once again, they're just not putting the items inside the card anymore. So this is just going over your ultimate beauty staycation. Um, I do really miss the items uh, being listed with, a, a, you know, just a brief description how to use them as well as the price for the full size items. But they're just not doing that anymore. Maybe they're taking a break from <laughs> making our cards. So whatever, it is what it is. So let's go over the two items that were actually outside of the bag. So the first thing is from Huang Jisoo. It's natural and organic Sakura peeling radiance pads. Oh, cool. And you get 10 pads in this. And I do love that this is a resealable bag. So that way in between using the pads, um, you can seal it up. That's really genius. Uh, let's see. So what does this do? It just says brightening and smoothing skin texture for all skin types. So that's really awesome. I will definitely give that a try. It's vegan and cruelty free. I love that. That's an added bonus. All right. The next thing is this brush and this is, um, who is this? Oh, this has to be SLS Miss Glam because it has like the two little rhinestones right there. Super cute, pink glittery brush with a little pink domed um, head right there. So nice and full and fluffy. It's a little bit firmer um, and stiffer than I normally would like for these kind of brushes. I like these kind of brushes to really be nice and fluffy to kind of blend out. But since this one is firmer, I would definitely use it for like more like concentrated colors in the outer uh, V or like underneath the eye to smoke it out. But I love brushes and SLS Miss Glam makes really, really cute ones. So I love that. Moving on to the items inside the bag now. So this is a Beauty For Real, is this a liquid lipstick? Um, it's, a, it's a lip cream, so it's in the shade really red. And this is just like a nice deep red kind of shade. I'm not gonna open this up right now because I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like actually keep this. Um, I don't really wear these colors too terribly much. Maybe during the holidays, I would might wear a red lip here or there. But all in all, I'm just not really like the fondest of red lips. And then the fact of it being a lip cream, I just have this vision of it just smearing everywhere, you know? Um, the only time I really wear a red lip is if it's a matte red lip, but um, it looks like a really pretty color. Um, I'm just gonna hold on to this in case someone else would enjoy this more than I would. All right, the next is this, and this is actually my choice item. So this is the Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow from Koki Professional. And I actually really um, enjoyed the um, concealer that we got from Koki a few months ago. This is in the shade Polaris. Beautiful packaging, very reminiscent, of course, of the Stila liquid glitters that everyone kind of made their own rendition off of. So it's just like a liquid glitter eyeshadow, has the little um, doe foot right there. Let's do a swatch. 
Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, so this is really similar to the kitten shade that Stila is really well known for. It's like a soft peachy rose gold with um, multi glitters of like gold and pink. Oh, it's beautiful. That is so, so gorgeous. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of that. And this is a huge little um, container too. So, or yeah, you get five mils. So yeah, that is really awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. And then the last thing is this, and this is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Ooh, look how baby tiny that is. But for lip oil, you probably don't really need too much. That is really cute. Let's see if it smells like watermelon. It just has the little plastic slanty applicator. I'm just gonna put a little bit out it does smell like watermelon but it doesn't smell like a really nasty like fake generic Jolly Rancher watermelon it's just like a very slight smell I like that I like the way it feels too okay that is super super cool I will definitely use that I always have like issues with dry cracked lips um so I'm excited to try that out and Ciate London is always like a really good brand so that is it for my July bag. Let's go over everything that I got for um, the $12 subscription. So we have our little escape bag with our um, Ciate London Watermelon Hydrating Lip Oil. We have the Cookie Cosmetics Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. That's super, super pretty. Then the Beauty For Real Lip Cream. This is the really red lip cream. The Huang Ji Su Secura Peeling Radiance Pads, and then the SLS Miss Glam Brush. This is a great bag. All in all, I really think that this was a really good bag. Very heavy on the cosmetic side of things. I did get this, but I mean, honestly, like this was great. I don't know if it has in anything to do with the fact that I changed my age, or it's the fact that I chose the liquid eyeshadow as my choice item, and then they just kind of built the bag around that. But all in all, two thumbs up for Ipsy in the month of July. The bag, eh, it's okay. I'll find a use for it. It's not my favorite. Um, but yeah, other than that, I really, really love it. And then I only did three little add-ons. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't go wild. Um, but these are the three that I got. So I have this Luxie 205 brush. And let's see. This is called the Pack in Shade brush. So again, just like a fluffy domed brush brush much softer as you can see there and then it has like this little indentation where you would put your fingers or kind of hold it um, like this so that you can hold it correctly and ergonomically um, I really really love that brush it's really really pretty and then next I got the generation clay ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask and I've heard really good things about this particular um, mask um, it's just a brightening mask made with Davidson Plum. I don't know anything about Davidson Plum or this brand in particular. It does have the safety seal on it, so that's awesome. I'm not gonna open it just yet just because I'm going through so many masks. You know, I complain about getting skincare and then I order a skincare add-on. I don't know, whatever. And then um, I also got the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I have heard, again, excellent things about this. Ciate London's just a really good brand all around, so I know that this is gonna be really good. But there's like little beads in there, I don't know if you can see, like little beads that I guess burst when you put on your skin. But I love primers, I love trying new primers, so I just had to grab that too. Okay, everyone, so that is it for the month of July Ipsy Glam Bag. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.